and welcome to 10 Minecraft Tack Room Ideas. Since Minecraft isn't a horse oriented game, you have to kind of get creative with creating things like tack rooms and stables. So here are 10 of my ideas for a tack room. So in number one, we have these bridle racks. Now they're obviously not usable, but they're in vanilla Minecraft. So you don't need mods or commands for this particular one. There is two ideas here that do use commands, but I'll point them out where they are. So I'm just gonna show you how to make this. So if you wanted it slightly raised above, that's fine. You just put down a slab like this, then any old block, cause you're gonna just destroy them later. You're gonna straight on face the block and then place your armor stand to make it fall like that then go sideways so the armor stand goes at an angle like that then again at the full-on side angle and one more just over here on this angle then you have your little rack going and you can delete the blocks at the back so it's quite a simple design but you'd be surprised how much detail this actually brings to the tack room Number two is probably my least favorite just because it doesn't look that good, but it's meant to be a kind of whip slash crop holder. Um, since I don't have a texture pack on, if you had a horse related texture pack, these would probably look better. But in terms of like design, I don't particularly like them. They are a bit bulky, but I'll show you how to make them anyway. So first of all, you're just going to go one block down and place a little slab at the bottom. Then the same technique that you used before, you're going to build up, but this time you're only going to do front and full on sideways like this. So you have a little cross there in the center. Now this is where we get to use our pistons. So as you can see here, hang on, let me just grab that. Um, we've got a wooden slab. So this is actually a little bit finickety. I think it's this one that is actually what you're meant to do. So then you place your piston facing down and activate it. So when you break all of this, you can see you've got this little platform table thing on top and you can just break all of these. And then you just pop on your item frames and your little sticks to replicate kind of whips. Um, definitely my least favorite design, but it's still an interesting thing to put inside your tack room. Number three is a super duper simple design. It's actually a saddle rack and bridle holder. Uh, you'd be surprised how much more lively a tack room can become when you've got things like this. And although they can't actually be used, you can kind of see where you're going with it. Since these are the little saddle racks, this is a tripwire hook and this these are oak fences. I'd suggest using a different colored fence to the walls of your tack room just so that they stand out more and they give more detail to the room. So number four is the first one where we use command blocks. Now this isn't super complicated, but all you have to do is grab wooden trapdoors and let's just say this is going to be our square where we're gonna put our apple in the crate and you're just gonna make sure that you face that way but don't actually put a trap door on the block, otherwise you can't place anything on it. So you've got a nice little crate and then you can give yourself a command block by doing slash give at P or your name at P command underscore block and then as you can see you get given a little command block and you pop that down and then you put um, the code to give you the head that you want I'll put the Apple link down below and I'll also put a link to all of the heads that you can get in Minecraft so as you can see you've got like a little crate and then you just pop your Apple inside there and then if you want you can also put like a little roof on the top there um, I didn't like this design too much because it's a bit bulky I guess you could have it with the the uh, case open that's kind of cute um but i quite liked it kind of open like this so that's a cute little design you can add to your tack room so this one is probably the most interesting one it's actually a hat rack or it makes it look like you've got a table where you put all your helmets and it's actually more simple than you think so all you have to do is dig how many blocks you want down and then grab yourself some snow so you're gonna go i think it's four layers so you're gonna go one two three four and one, two, three, four. And once that's down, all you gotta do is build up and place your armor stand. So if you want it slightly slanted, you can kind of place it that way and then put this one, say at the front, of course, you can do whatever you want with this. Um, and then all you gotta do is kind of force um, the blocks down onto it. So put the planks there and then pop your pistons facing down like that and then activate them and then break the top activator and put any old block in between to just force it down 
and there we go so this is the finished look as you can see it's quite cute it almost looks like one of those helmet racks and then if you want you can just pop your helmet straight on the top and it's not a, an issue um, I think this is quite interesting because it really adds another layer to your tack room just because it looks like it's not vanilla but it is you're just using some simple redstone and um, armor stand technique so number six is again a very simple design all you got to do is put down your hay bales like you'd find in like a big block and then place some ladders around it and it kind of looks like it's strapped in um, in certain texture packs you can get clay that looks like a flax block so feel free to do this as well it's really like you know it's not bulky at all and it adds some nice detail as well it doesn't work amazing with the hay block but it certainly adds something i would definitely recommend if you're looking kind of for a filler then definitely have a look to put these in Number seven is one of the more sleek designs. It's actually um, kind of like a little storage locker thing. Um, it's a super sleek design because it uses doors on all sides. So it's not super bulky like the normal kind of uh, shelf unit one is. It's not super bulky like that. And all you've got to do to make this one is just pop um, doors. So these two blocks here are where the actual main area is going to be so you want to place your block right here so that it encases it and then put two doors here and make sure they're just facing outwards at the same way and they've got to open out because if you have anything on this block you can't can't place uh what you need inside so i just popped an armor stand and two little chests inside so it's actually really practical you can put helmet boots and like jumping gear as well as pop things in the chest now i just topped it off with these uh planks but really you can top it off with anything if you're working in 1.13 there's loads of different trap doors to use um and that i would definitely recommend to make it even sleeker than it already is number eight is the coolest design it's just it's really simple actually it's meant to be a feed box so it's just two chests encased with um, trap doors just make sure oops um, make sure you've got them facing the right way so they come up like that and then at the back I've popped um, two trap doors to kind of make it look like the box is open and then you can actually access this so not only is it super um, efficient is is also practical which I quite like um, you can pop feed inside here and it just kind of adds another element of kind of decoration to the tack room so this is probably one of my favorite number nine is a must have in your tack room so I've got a little wheelbarrow you can actually pop this anywhere you like so if I just grab the materials that I need so all you're going to need is some hoppers, a spruce fence gate, a, an item frame and the kind of thing that you want inside the item frame. Let me just grab that. So what you're going to do is just place any old block at the back there and then connect the hopper. See, so it's kind of like um, sticking out that way and then place your fence so it looks like a little kind of handlebar and then you can pop down your oops uh, crouch to pop down your item frames to make it look like wheels now I've put coal blocks on the front um, just because I kind of think it makes it look a little more realistic this isn't a super realistic design and it might not go with your theme but I like it so much because it's actually usable this isn't a lot of item space but if you were role playing and you had to actually pick up something like brown carpet you could actually use as wheelbarrow which i think is quite nice this design is one of the more interesting ones i suppose so you probably think this is just a normal black horse with a saddle on it why would this be an attack room now it's actually a horse entity that can't move as in move blocks it can wiggle its tail a bit and open its mouth but it's meant to look what, like one of those model horses that you see in the shops and expensive tack rooms uh showing off the kind of gear that you can wear now you do actually need commands for this um i have put a link down below on where you can customize your own ones just make sure you've got freeze entity ticked or crossed, whichever it is, um, to make sure that this horse doesn't move. Because I've seen black, white, and gray, I believe. Those are the more popular choices of these kind of statue horses. And while, while it's not practical in something like survival, if you've got creative and you want to just spice it up even more, I would definitely recommend this. So here we've got a little model tack room. I've tried to fit everything I can into it, but over here we've got our whip stand. We've got our model horse facing this way so you get a nice view of the saddle and bridle. Over here we've got the locker rooms. 
I really like these because of how sleek they look. Not many wardrobes or lockers look very sleek like this. Uh, then we've got a little hat table over here. Um, we've got the uh, saddle racks and bridle rack sort of things. Uh, the main bridle racks are over here. As you can see, they add a little bit extra detail to the room just because of how like detailed and kind of intricate they look although they can't be actually used over here we've got our little stack of hay um kind of tied up here and then here again is one of my favorite designs the actual usable chest i've just replaced some of the wood at the back to be planks just so that it looks more smooth in the transition for the white and then we have our wheelbarrow so that's sort of everything for this video i hope that you guys found something that you really liked and would put it into a tack room let me know if you want this to become a series because I can do things like arenas, actual stalls, and barn building, um, as I quite like finding new ways. So this was in 100% vanilla Minecraft, there were no mods used, but two of these designs did use command blocks. So I hope you guys enjoyed, stay positive, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!